on this New England beer tasting, going to the hill. So, thanks to my friend Alan uh, for gifting me this one. Uh, it is Double Citra from Hill Farmstead. Hill Farmstead is out of uh, Greensboro, Vermont. Uh, and the Double Citra is a Imperial IPA. Um, Doesn't give any ABVs. According to the bottom, um, I should have drank this yesterday. Uh, it's about six weeks old at the time of recording. Um, and the drink by date today is July 4th. When this airs, it will no longer be July 4th. Um, but it says I should have drank it by uh, July 3rd. So, anyways, let's go ahead crack this open and uh, give it a pour. And I, I, yeah, I don't know what the ABV is on this, so. So Hill Farmstead is known for uh, one of those breweries that does the uh, New England style IPAs. They have various other crafts that they, they put out as well. So kind of expecting this one. There's not much information. If I looked it up, it might say it was a New England style. Um, Let's see, actually, uh, I'll just read the back. Hill Farmstead Brewery is the culmination of travel and insight, of friendships and explorations, and of realizing a sense of one's place upon the hand hoon land of our forebearers. We honor eight generations of Greensboro ancestry by thoughtfully engaging with our heritage and with our distinctive beers. This offering is our effort to revive, diversify, and prolong the memory of the Hill Farmstead. So, yeah, no, no more information actually in that little story. I was hoping to find something in there. Um, anyways, it did have a uh, fairly tight bubbled uh, white head, we'll call it. Uh, the color on this thing is kind of a straw to... Um, like light gold, uh, very, very hazy, going actually pretty much murky. The aromas, grapefruit, tad bit of a pineapple, Might be a, a slight hint of something that at least is kind of reminding me of pear. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, for the first swig. So, cheers. First up, I was getting a. Uh, a bit of a uh, a wheat out of the uh, the grist and the flavor. Very light, like bread note. Hop flavors. It's got some some uh, bitterness to it. Some, it's not uh, 
not a harsh bitterness uh, it is up there though for sure so a soft soft bitterness but it's, it's got a uh, probably a high level of bitterness a um, little bit of a citrusy type note uh, It might be some of that that pear as well in the flavor. I'm not picking up on like what I was in the nose where it's kind of that, that grapefruit, a little bit of pineapple. Not not detecting that on my tongue. It's just coming off as that citrus and like I said it's kind of this uh, dulled down fleshy fruit like a like a pear type flavor body is um, high side of light going into that medium uh, carbonation is, is pretty much getting into that uh, medium realm as well so I'll be right back I'm going to uh, put down my scoring on this Okay, so I am back. It does kind of have a um, creamy mouthfeel too. I don't know if I mentioned that. I always seem to forget stuff. I'm going to have to come back to it. But try to get everything I can say in the video. Um, so the scoring on this one. Uh, parents... Even though the head really didn't last, it, it is leaving some decent lacing. Um, it is a nice a nice color and everything like that. I wasn't going to ding this one for not being clear, even though it's not stated, but just knowing what Hill Farm said is um, for their beers. I gave it the full 6 out of 6. Uh, the aromas on this, I thought there were, there were decent aromas. Um, I just wish that there was more. It was more. Uh, which it might have been if it was fresher. Um, but uh, gave it a 9 out of 10 anyways for the aromas. Now, the flavor on this, um, once again, I don't know about the freshness. I mean, six weeks old really is not, you know, we're looking at like a month, about a month and a half. It's just actually under that. Um, it it should be still fairly decent, but... Uh, they give their their <laughs> beers obviously a very short shelf uh, shelf life, um, so this may not be exactly what they intended. But anyways, uh, the malt I thought was fine coming through with that that little bit of wheat light like a light bread note as well. Um, so I thought that was very well interpreted. Um, the hops, unfortunately uh, for me, just weren't coming off that flavorful uh would have preferred to have some of that grapefruit pineapple flavor within within this within this beer uh, balance was okay for me uh carbonation was fine the aftertaste like i said just kind of wishing there was just more with this um it's i've tasted so many beers that taste very similar to this um so the overall in the flavor i gave is 16 out of 19 uh, the body was fine uh, 5 out of 5 for that my overall impression uh, once again just going back into I have had plenty of beers that pretty much taste almost exactly like this with that little bit of citrus bitterness and maybe like a pear note or some other fleshy fruit um, not really shining through not anything that's coming off too juicy like um so overall impression was a six out of ten and i love hill farmstead too one of my one of my favorite breweries i've uh, visited them a few times and i've always been very pleased with what i've uh, purchased and or have tried with friends um, so, 
for double citron from Hill Farmstead gets a bumpy score of a 42 out of 50. Leaves this uh, still in the excellent range. So, cheers, guys, and thank you for watching.